There are a lot of supplements uh, over the counter these days for uh, consumers to pick on. Uh, are there anything that you would suggest for, as a neurosurgeon, that you will advise your patients to take? Well, so the, the public will be confused by the fact that there's a lot of marketing for uh, various different products to maintain memory or mental fitness. And the bottom line is that mental fitness is best managed with a very active mind, reading puzzles, learning new language, playing an instrument as a person ages. Uh, physical activity is very critical, just walking or riding a bike or swimming or things that are active like weights. That alone uh, works towards mental fitness. In general, uh, I think that a well-balanced diet, uh, vitamin D3 is very important for spine health. Um, those are uh, the main things. I think that uh, it's a very simple, straightforward thing, avoidance of heavy alcohol use, because that is hard on the brain and can lead to falls and other problems. Uh, I don't think fad diets are appropriate. I don't really think that um, other heavily marketed supplements are necessarily very useful. Now, vitamin D is really a hot topic, has been for several years, and I'm glad you mentioned that. Because now with COVID-19, people are suggesting they find that people on vitamin D3 is actually very helpful in recovery of COVID-19. Do you have a range of uh, dosage in terms of, you know, we know the therapeutic range of vitamin D3 is from 30 to 100. Uh, and the majority of my patients take 2,000 international units a day. And, uh, but... Some recommendation out there say that, oh, if you take between 50 to 70 uh, in terms of therapeutic range, that's probably the best for COVID-19. Uh, but for the nervous system, I mean, is there a, a good number to be aiming for? I don't think that we've actually uh, learned whether that is a particular number. I tell my patients, as you do, that 2,000 international units a day is probably very good. And then plenty of, you know, leafy greens and calcium in your diet and iron and, you know, a, a balanced diet, otherwise it's really critical.